Hello and welcome back to Come Geeksum. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for future content. Today's video, we're going to be talking about a voice actor called DC Douglas. I did make a video a couple of weeks ago regarding him and how much of an asshole he was, but over the last 48 hours or so, he's become even more of an asshole. So, we're going to start off with, because he actually retweeted the Mars Girl GoFundMe page. We have, she stood up for people in the shadows. She didn't back down when conservative carpetbagger dipshits co-opted the I standard blah blah movement. Let's have her back like she had everyone else's. So, straight off the bat, he's saying, uh, obviously, conservative carpetbaggers and everything else and I standard blah blah movement. But she's the one who started the Kick Vic movement. So, and again, she's setting up this GoFundMe page. Which I think is now reached something I like it's, it's beat his goal. His goal was fifteen hundred dollars, and I think it's made like two grand now. So I don't know who's um, helping her, but she's saying it's for legal fees because uh, she's gonna sue some people. But it's like, well, you're gonna get sued by Vic because of what you've started, and now you're only looking into it. But that's how she goes. We got a couple more of uh, DC Douglas being a complete and utter twat. This is, I say, is going to be a DC Douglas video, so... I do apologise for the way I sound and everything else. I am literally run down. I feel like a bus has hit me, so... That's why there's no videos yesterday, and I'm hoping to get one or two done today, and maybe get some done for tomorrow, so I can just relax over the weekend. But, we got Kai Thomas. I couldn't donate if I wanted to. I'm against public humiliation, and she's taken part in it. Even if it is all true, such thing, she never be made public unless proven true in a court of law. Innocent until proven guilty. False accusations happen and no one she suffer because of lies. I think I said no one should suffer. And that is exactly true. That is, well, that's the majority of the I stand with Vic people are. You're innocent until proven guilty. You know, there's been a lot of false accusations in the past uh, decade or so where a lot of people have been blamed, they've lost jobs, they've gone to prison, and it's only come out recently, you know, some of those people were lying and, you know, they got an innocent person sent down and they've ruined their lives, you know, it's it's almost like this Jesse Smollett uh, thing that happened, remember? When he tried inciting a race war and everything else, and it turned out to be two of his friends and two uh, acquaintances who worked on the Empire set with him. It's it's almost like if they never came forward and then they never said anything, Jesse Smollett would have let two people go down for no, you know, for no reason, and he wouldn't have said, oh no, it was all fake, you know? This is what's wrong with certain people when they have money and they have fame. They try and just do anything they can just to uh, get people down. But with Kai Thomas here, I completely 100% agree with him. It's pr innocent until proven guilty. If Vic is proved that he is guilty, then that's it. I go. I I will literally jump straight to the kick Vic side. Because he's, a, he's guilty, you know. But at this moment in time, he is innocent until proven guilty. And what did DC Douglas, the uh, dickhead, come back with? Two followers in two years. Well, if no one else finds you worth listening to, then I don't either. Well, just because someone's made a valid point and their opinion, he's just gone and said, oh, you only got two followers, ha ha. That is just, that's cruel and that's humiliating. You know, I can't, this is what Funimation hire. They hire these people who go out of their way and they make fun of, they blast, and they also harass Funimation's customers online, publicly. If Funimation don't look at this and go, oh yeah, maybe you shouldn't have said that, and then get rid of him, you know, it's they're not going to do it. Someone in-house said something about Vic, and again, HR, they're probably all friends with Jamie Marshy and Monica Real, and they probably go, yeah, we got to get rid of him. But no, one is someone who filmed himself in a woman's bathroom, and he, you know, and he comes out as a pervert, which he is, because this, this is what he is, you know. He's filmed himself, and you film women in a public toilet, in a female public toilet. 
Got another one here. I could help her, but then again, why should I help someone who asked her followers to dox a YouTuber, which was Yellow Flash, who used her tweets against her? I think Vic deserves my money because he, yeah, he has been silent and hasn't harassed, tweeted a racist remark, or doxed anyone, unlike your friend Kaylin. And he just came back with, you sock puppets must be unemployed. That's a lot of fig accounts you guys create. I just want to shake him. I just want to grab him, shake him, and be like, what's wrong with you? This is like a 53, 55 year old man now this is, and he's acting like a 12 year old. <laughs> we just, we got another one. The beauty of all these sock puppets and a-holes commenting here is that it forces the Twitter algorithm to push this post to top and be seen by many more. She's already doubled her initial goal. They are the best at self-owning. Again, he's talking about Mars Bar Girl. Only person she cares about is herself. Oh, and go ahead and block me. I couldn't care less. I also find it funny a massive perv is endorsing this attention whore. Again, that's going back to what we just said about DC Douglas filmed himself in a female's uh, toilet and he thought it was a male's toilet, even though it was just all cubicles and there's no urinals in there. I think that would have gave it away, mate. And DC comes back with, Your perv is someone else's awesome night out, lol. Cody Poor, you know she advocated doxing a YouTuber privately for asking help to track down his identity. One of her friends even sent a phone to his P.O. box to just track where it went and to try and find him. She has a girlfriend me after slandering Vic for doing the very same thing. And he comes back with, Cody, leave me alone about this or I'll block you. Not going to debate you on this, period. Well, in my eyes were there, DC Douglas, he actually knows that Cody is right. He's probably thinking, shit, yeah, they've uh, they've done this, she actually started it, but he's done this now, and they actually sent a phone there. And he's like, oh yeah, leave me alone, I'll block you, blah, blah, blah. And this one, he, um, when he actually retweeted the GoFundMe page, this is what was under it for the, when he CC'd in uh, Chris Abart, Rio Monica Real, and Sean Dickhead Shemmel. Spread word, then just up your blocking game for a day. And Lucy, which again is brilliant, block everyone who disagrees with you about an important subject matter. Let's close our eyes and believe. You're ridiculous. Next. And he goes back with, shh, I'm busy blocking kids. Ugh. He thinks he's funny as well. This is one of the problems. And this is one of the worst ones I've seen. Right. I'm not a fan of Donald Trump. I'm not a fan of Mike Pence or any of those people. Again, being here in the UK, yeah, we have our own uh, people to worry about. But Vice uh, President Mike Pence done this. With the strong support of Republicans in the Senate, President of the United States' 100th nominee to the federal bench was confirmed. Trump has appointed men and women to our federal courts who will stand for the God-given liberties enshrined in our Constitution and Bill of Rights. And DC just went back to him. Yeah, we're fucked. Like the porn you watch late at night when Mother is in a crypt. It's it's mind-blowing how much of a dickhead this guy actually is. It's It makes you think, you know, if he is in a relationship or if he has any kids, what do they all think? And they must think of him being a total ass bag, you know? It's say he does have kids and they're in school or, you know, higher up in school, so like, you know, high school or mid school or whatever they call it over there. And you know, his children's friends see that he's being a complete nut of twat online and they could be like dude why is your dad such a dick why is he being like this you know and he just carries on you got carl going to him are you guys sure this isn't a gofundme scam have never seen it before and what is her connection with any of this that's all he said and dc douglas went back with ask your one follower sock puppet this guy is just the worst, I'm telling you. I look at it and I'm, I just think to myself, why is you like this? Why is Funimation hiring people like this? Funimation, they allow this sort of behaviour to be done. And you look at it and it wouldn't surprise me if in Funimation, a lot of the people in higher-ups are like DC and a few of the other people that we've mentioned throughout this video. But that's the end of this video at this moment in time. 
So again, thank you very much for listening. I do apologise again. I'm sorry for the way I sound. I sound really bunged up and everything else. And I do apologise for that. You, you people don't deserve this. But if you are new to the channel, like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell for future updates. And I'll see you lovely people soon.